Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Leo. Let's do some more lead code problems today. So this is called a water and jug problem. We were given two jugs with capacities, jug one capacity and jug two capacity liters. There's an infinite amount of water supply available. Determine whether it's possible to measure exactly target capacity liters using these two jugs. So the target capacity liters of water are measurable, so we must have target capacity liters of water contained within one or both buckets by the end. That means you can have one jug that contains the target ca capacity liters of water, or you can have it combined with the, the water in the first jug and the second jug combined to get the target capacity. Okay, so some operations we can do. First, fill any of the jugs with water. So in this case, we must fill it with its capacity, liters of water. And second one, empty any of the jugs. Third, pour water from one jug into another till the other jug is completely full, or the first jug itself is empty. Okay, so it gives us three kind of situations. Okay, let's take a look at the example. So the jug one capacity is three, jug two capacity is five, and the target is four. So we can do, we can fill the first jug, and we can pour it into the second jug. So now the jug one is zero, and jug two is three. Then we fill jug one again and pour it into jug two. So and at this time, jug two will be filled, fully filled with five liters of water. So, and, and only one liter left in jug one. Now we can pour empty the second jug, then pour the first jug into the second jug. Now we fill the first jug again, which has three liters of water, and then we pour it into the second jug. Now we have the target four, okay? And let's take a look at the second one. So this is two, this is six, but the target capacity is five. So we have odd number of capacity, but we get a even sorry, even number of capacity and but an odd number of target, so it doesn't make any sense. And the third one, the capacity of the first and the second combined is the target. Okay, so how do we approach this problem? Um, this looks like uh, the open the log problem on lead code, so we were transferring from one pattern from one situation to another but here we have like one two three there are two jugs so we have three by two which is six possible ways to go so this is a kind of a bfs problem until we find the final answer okay so this is this should be pretty traditional so i'll just start coding so first corner cases uh the first is jug one capacity and jug two capacity if they combine still can't get the target that would be a corner case so jug one capacity jug two capacity they combine and they are less than target capacity. So we can make the target, okay? We can return false. And if they are even, but the target is odd, in this case, we can still return false, okay? So jug one capacity. 1 by 2 equals to 0, and uh, jack 2 capacity mod by 2 equals 0, and 
target capacity mod two equals to it doesn't equal to zero. Okay. So in this case we we should return false. Alright. Now the second thing is the corner case has been handled. Now we can get in, into our main logic, which is a BFS. Okay. Um, to run BFS, we need a queue. What do we store in the queue? We have to store how much water is there in the two jugs. Okay. So we need a integer array list and it is initialized as zero zero okay because at first we don't have anything left and there is a problem this is since this is a very big like a very big net or graph we have to know which ones we have visited to avoid tle so we can initialize the set with the integer and it's going to be called visited it's going to be a new hash set okay now we have everything uh, we can do the bfs the log queue is not empty um, integer array cur equals to q dot pull and x is the x coordinator coordinate and uh, curve two, uh, curve one is the coordinate on the y axis. Okay, so uh, for each point, we do the visited checking if visited dot contains new integer array, uh, it's going to be xy visited. Uh, we can just skip it and if not we'll just add it to the visit no uh, visit hash set why okay and oh sorry before that handle the return logic so if x plus y equals to target capacity, we're going to return true. Okay. Now we can process the unvisited and which the, the final result of the addition is not the target capacity. Okay. So we'll just visit it and add the new neighbors into the queue okay so who are the neighbors uh the first operation is a few any of the jugs with water okay so um now i want to fill the first one with a jug of water okay now I can do the second thing is to fill the second one with the water. Now the third option is to empty any of the jugs. So, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, this is for emptying. Okay. This is for emptying the jugs because we, we initialize the Y to zero and the x to zero, okay? So let's empty the jugs and fill the jugs with water. So uh, we're going to add it to the jug and keep the second one as it is, or maybe we can keep it as it is and make the jug to capacity. That is to fill the jugs with water. And still, we have two other options, which is to um... <laughs> okay, which is to pour water from the first one to the second jug. Okay, so 
x will have to subtract math.mean, whether it's x or maybe jug2 capacity minus y. It's very easy to understand. If we have like three liters of water in the first jug and five liters of water in the second jug, if we want to pour water from the first jug to the second jug, we can only pour the minimum of three, which is the capacity of uh, uh, now uh, the um, which is the water, the amount of water in the first jug, which is x, and the jug two capacity minus y. So let's say this is the second time that we pour three into five. So five now has three liters of water. Okay, so we have to get the minimum. All right, with this in case, um, the second jug gets the water. So that's y plus math.mean. Um, it only needs jug two capacity minus y, like this much, need this much water, or x, okay? Also, we have to add a new integer array. This time, we're going to pour the water from the second jug to the first jug. So x with plus math.mean x jug one capacity minus x, okay? Uh, yeah, this shouldn't be x, this should be y. And y will subtract math.mean jug one capacity minus x and y. At most, it can be poured y. So this should be it. And when they were added, we will find if it's contained in the uh, set. And if we have found the answer, we can return true. If not, we'll add it into the visit has to set and then do the expansion again. Okay. So after the BFS expansion, what if we can't find anything? We'll simply return false. Okay. So let's try this. Okay, I think it passed. Um, for complexity, ana complexity analysis, uh, I think the time complexity in the worst case would be jack one capacity times jack two capacity because we have to traverse through this whole graph. Okay, so jack one capacity times jack two capacity. Okay. And as for the space complexity, I think it should be the same. The worst case, we have to traverse through all the nodes in this graph. Okay. Oh, okay. Memory limit exceeded. All right. So what's the problem in here? If we can reach it, memory set, if it contains this, if it contains that, it will add to it. Chuck one will fill the water tank with this. Okay, so what do we do? Maybe we can change the type here. Maybe we can change it to like a string. And we can add a x plus y. Right. And here we can also use the concatenation. All right. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, I think it passed. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in our next video.